Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. No, that's not the way God called it. There will be times God will call you to sacrifice and help somebody, and he has not promised you anything in return. He will not bargain with you. He will not barter with you. You are to do it because the need is there. You may have a neighbor you know is hurting financially. Cancel one of your trips. You make five or six trips around the globe. You go hither and thither and, and, and near and far and all of that. Cut one of those near or fars out. Just one. Just one. Use that money to bless a person who can't even handle their needs, let alone half the luxuries you've got. Do you hear what I'm saying? Some of those concerts you go to, excuse me, on a regular basis, treat one of those old ladies down the street to a hairstylist. Treat them to some new clothes, new slippers, new shoes. Maybe a new pair of glasses, because they can't even afford glasses. They make too much to get help, and they make too little to, to, to be able to help themselves. So they're wearing glasses that are ten times too weak. And they're, they're walking around seeing blur with the glasses they've got, because they're 30 years old. And one of them may be cracked. And while you're running around with all this fancy smancy lifestyle, it wouldn't be but a drop in the bucket for you to take them to the store and get them a new prescription of glasses that they will never be able to afford on their income. The difference you can make in someone's life. You have children whose parents are barely, barely busting the surface. And you know, you see that kid running up and down with holes on top and on the bottom of their shoes. Return some of those shoes you haven't worn in the last month. That's just sitting there waiting for you to decide to do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Cancel some of your purchases and take that child and buy them some shoes. Some of you have a car sitting in your garage. You dust it off, you wash it, you polish it every three or four months, and you sit there and lick your chops and yeah. I got that bad boy. That's mine. Mm -hmm. You don't drive it anywhere. You just collect. Just because you can. You know who is around you who's struggling. You know who works under you. Some of those employees that don't get enough pay and you know they don't. And they're having it rough. You know who they are. Open your eyes. Take the blinders off now. They're not dead weight. They're busting their butt trying to make ends meet while you playing with your ends. They're busting their butt trying to make ends meet. Doing overtime, barely getting paid. You give them a bonus. You pass up your bonus one time and say, pass it down to my employees. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you are. 